What's up guys? Uh, today I'm working on a really cool project that I've been wanting to do for a while, but like was putting it off just because I was planning on doing something different with the thing. But this is a curio cabinet. The front door is right here, this wider one. But I have decided that instead of turning it into like a greenhouse, which is what I was planning on doing with this one and uh, this one, and then selling them, I'm gonna turn it into a little vivarium thing for climbing plants. And so, yeah, that's what's going on. So the first thing I have to do is seal up all these edges because I have to completely seal uh, the entire thing and make it waterproof if I'm gonna put plants and stuff and have it like super humid in here. So uh, what I've done so far is just added a ton of wood putty to all these corners and all the edges and all the old screw holes and like all that stuff. And so I've got to sand that down. And then what I want to do right now is make a hole for the substrate. So I'm going to have like a little cavity underneath this and this door opens obviously. So this has to be sealed and there's going to be like basically a giant pot down here and it'll have a little ball valve at the bottom to where I can drain it. There'll be a drainage layer in here. Um, but yeah, so first things first, I'm just gonna cut out that little bit. All right, I've got these chunks cut out. Um, so I'll have to sand down this again and figure out a way to do like a false bottom in here. Um, and then I've got to kind of smooth this back piece off. I thought about just kind of filling it in with wood putty or something, but I'm just gonna use the wood rasp a little bit and shave it down as much as I can. Uh, to hopefully make it flush with that back piece. So these pieces have been cut already. Uh, it's an acrylic. I'm making like a planter box thing for the soil section. Um, I'm going to put a screen in the middle, obviously, for a drainage layer, and then I'll put a ball valve at the bottom so I can drain it if need be. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, weld all of this stuff together with the acrylic weld. Um, and then place it back in and it's going to get siliconed in and then I'm going to liquid rubber all of this. And so as you can see, I've already kind of like partially assembled this with um, tape, like kind of just holds it together. Um, there is a small crack down here that I'm going to have to just silicone over, but I'm going to go ahead and put it together with actual acrylic glue. And yeah, should be fun. Silicone the edges of the planter box like you would an aquarium basically um, and rubbed all that stuff in and did like a first initial layer of the jeez oh, almost killed me um, the liquid rubber all around the inside just not on the bottom because there was some dust down there and I didn't feel like getting the shop back out and clean it out yet but I just wiped that out so I'm gonna go ahead and silicone the planter in all around and then We'll be able to, once the silicone cures, we'll be able to fully do all the liquid rubber. Update time. I am all sweaty and I've gotten a bunch of stuff done. Um, the glass panel for the door was held in by this like really cheap liner stuff um, with staples. So I pulled that out and I laid down a small bead of silicone around the outside, laid the glass in and then laid another bead around and smoothed it down. Uh, I'm probably gonna have to trim it with a razor blade later, but that's curing now. So after that's done, I can paint with the liquid rubber on the part that's gonna be like touching the humidity. Um, I just laid the final coat on here. Just have to wait for that to dry and scrape the glass um, with a razor blade to kind of clean up those edges. Everything's all silicone into place like it was, um, I think last time. I need to drill this for the drain. That's just gonna be an airline um, valve thing, check valve thing. Uh, but yeah, I've got a lot of 
cork. I got a bunch from BioDude. These logs, I didn't realize they were log logs. They say logs, but for some reason I was assuming I was gonna get rounds. Um, and I got some of these guys at, um, what's it called? Repticon, and then I got just like a bunch of small pieces to do the cork mosaic from Josh's Frogs. But yeah, I'm excited. I'm gonna be probably laying it on its back so that I can, you know, actually visualize everything because I can't just have logs like floating in there trying to figure out how it's gonna go together. Um, but that's gonna be the next thing that goes on. I'm gonna give this a few days to cure. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll be able to kind of attach the doors and get wood in there, like the cork in there, and it should be fun. But yeah, it's really hot out here. All right, so I forgot how much I like matte black. Look at how this is looking. Freaking beautiful. Like, it's gonna be so cool when it's done. Um, obviously, I skipped all the sanding. Uh, nobody wants to watch a time lapse of somebody sanding. Um, so I didn't film that, sorry. Um, but I, I put on the, the first coat and I've got one more coat to go. And then I'm gonna bring it inside so that I can start actually scaping like the layout. But I forgot how much I liked this color. This is so, f it looks so good. It's so beautiful. I'm so excited. Um, oh, this is cool. I've got one more coat to go to do and then I'll let it dry and then I'll bring it inside. All right, so the final coat of paint is on on the outside. Um, I kind of wiped some of this down. The lights are in. I'm using these little guys. Four of these little like daisy chain. Let's drop some glue. Uh, it's like one of those daisy chain setups where you can kind of link from light to light. And then I just kind of glued everything in here um, and glued the wires up to kind of hide those. And yeah, it's more of a warm, I'm gonna go back up all the way back here to show you what it looks like, because it's so tall. Um, yeah, I think it'll be pretty cool. That's the reptile enclosure um, that I need to redo. But anyway, I'm gonna start using the cork and gluing that on. time consuming but we are left with this gorgeous gorgeous not really gorgeous yet um it's gonna be gorgeous when it's planted cork mosaics never look good uh, right when they're being mosaiced um but yeah as soon as i get this all planted and figured out it's gonna look really 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 cool because you can plant in any of these gaps between the uh cork like that's the whole point of doing a cork mosaic you just jam moss in between all these gaps and then you can plant epiphytes all over the place so we'll have margravia pipers um epiphyte like random ferns and orchids and all kinds of stuff in there and i'm just really excited because it's going to be so 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 cool um i need to get dusk moss so i can do that and i need to finish the door so that i can actually close it and lock in the humidity and then we can add soil and terrestrial plants down there I don't know what I want to put in the bottom yet, but it's just, it's going to be really cool. Kind of a bunch of begonias, a bunch of stuff, sonorilla. That's, I'm excited, but yeah, it's awesome. All right, so I'm just working on this little door thing. And I decided that I wanted to keep the outside of the uh, vivarium as simple as possible. So as not to draw attention away. So I'm taking this little insert thing out. I'm just kind of sitting it on this little thing and whacking it with a hammer and it comes out. It was just stapled to the back and it's made out of plastic so I don't want it in there anyway uh, but I'm just going to replace it with you know something with just this piece. Uh, take out the plastic, put that back in and just have it all flat black. All right everything is done and sanded and painted and there's handles on. Um, it's very cool. This is a little bit sticky, but it turned out really well. 
Um, so it's pretty much ready. Um, I definitely need to figure out some kind of weather stripping and I need to do latches for the side. Um, I've got to figure something out for that. But other than that, I mean, it's really cool. Like I'm very excited. It's, it's ready for the soil. I need to just put a bunch of LECA and put a screen down and I can add soil to this. The drain is in right here. It's just a um, airline valve thing, bleeder valve. I saw Serpa do this or something similar to this. Super simple for a small drain. Uh, but yeah, next up I'm gonna, I guess put dirt in it and start planting. All right, I'm just testing out the drain and it works. And I just remembered I was actually drinking out of this glass. All right, guys, uh, it's pretty much time. Um, I've got a bunch of plants that I have selected already to kind of go in here. Um, one is already kind of chilling in there, but it's not actually potted where it's going to go. Um, but that's going to be the first one. Uh, I'm going to set up on this little tripod. I've got my dusk moss mix ready. That's got to like kind of sit for a while before it gets brushed on. Um, but yeah, I'm going to post you guys up and start planting. Right, so that first plant is already in. This is the Pimpy's Eden N6 X, or it's Globosa X Ampularia Black Miracle X Edenensis. I'll put that on the screen. Next up is going to be Anthurium Dark Forgidium. All right, so it's pretty much planted and mossed up. I've just got to mist it all the time uh, as the moss gets settled. After a few months, I won't have to miss it all the time. But uh, let me just show you guys what we've got. I've got this little peperomia. It's some kind of cloud forest species. It looks really pretty. I'm hoping it survives. Um, this is Begonia lichenora. It might not do well here. I don't know if it's... Um, an epiphytic species, I might have to move that. This is an F1 Vitara folium. You know, I've got to put my anthuriums in there. Begonia dodsodii, um, Margravia alcoca, Margravia centenesii, Piper species South Sumatra. I, I probably listed all these names before. So I'm hoping that this guy kind of just attaches here and grows upward and behind that. Um, I've never had much luck with those. My frogs trampled them before. Oh yeah, and this little tiny Syngonium ray eye there. Um, but you know, I've got a lot of really neat stuff in here like this 
Edenensis, Globosa, Ampularia, Black Miracle. I had to put my dark form for Giddy Eye in here. This is um, Piper Silver Fleck, Piper, or Marcravia Umbalata. This one's supposed to be like really rare. Uh, more of the species of Sumatra. And then of course my Hoffmanias. This is this color and that's Fantasia. And then a few random Begonias in here, more Umbalata. I'm gonna do sheet moss, I think, on the bottom and then add some jewel orchids. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much <clears throat> where it's at for now. Obviously, I'll have to do a video in the future as it grows in and the moss grows and all that stuff. Uh, but what I think I'm gonna do next is kind of let it mature a little bit. Um, I still need to put I still need to put latches on the door so I can't put any kind of inhabitants in there and I need to add a little bit of screen in some places to essentially block off little tiny gaps um, just to make sure nothing can crawl out, but there's still a little bit of ventilation. Um, but yeah, next step, I want to do micro ferns and micro orchids and lots of moss. I want to just moss it up. I want to take mature moss and just stick it in there. Um, but other than that, it looks amazing. I'm extremely happy with it. I finally have somewhere to put all my big Hoffmanias. You can see the massive Fantasias I have over here in the frog enclosure. These definitely need a chop. Let me know if you want Hoffmania Fantasia. Um, I will sell it to you easily. Uh, I have way too much, but yeah, it's beautiful. I'm super excited for the for Giddy Eye and the Vitara Folium. I've, I haven't really been much of a, an Nepenthes guy, but a good friend of mine is super, super into them. So I'm really happy to see this in here and I'm really happy to see this climb. I think that's gonna look super cool. Uh, but everything is gonna look so cool. The, all the different Margravias as they start climbing up here. Um, everything is just gonna be really, really, really cool. And I'm very excited to see that happen. But um, that's pretty much it. Uh, it has to grow in, I've gotta do other stuff. So I'll be doing another video on it eventually. But that's it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you guys next time.